Recently, CSI Control Surface Integrator from Jeff Waddington added a new feature called Effects Remapping. As you may know, when you add in an effect to Reaper, when you're using CSI for your control surface, it will automatically build a map of controls. So the first eight controls will assign to the first eight encoders on your control surface. But if you want to modify that, you do have to uh, open up a text file and change things around. Until now, there's effects remapping. So let's look at this. So you're gonna go to here, let's add in a track, add in an effect. We'll just take one that I haven't opened on this at all yet. So we've got Saturator X here. Not a whole lot of parameters, three parameters, maybe this is a fourth parameter, not a whole lot here. Just adding the plugin builds in the, the file and let's find that file in the CSI folder. So Xtouch custom auto-generated effects zones, here's Saturator X. If I open this up in the text editor, you see first eight parameters are assigned and everything else is blank. If you want to do detailed changes, this is where you do it, but there's a lot of things you can do inside of Reaper now. So I have assigned the F4 button on the controller to bring up this window. This is the effects remapping tool. So we can change the order of the buttons and stuff. So let's say we want output gain to be the last parameter. Let's move that one out to number eight. You can just drag and drop and then hit save. Um, but yeah, if I want to do input gain, it's this. Let's unlink those. There a link button. I don't see one, so I'll, I'll just click that with the mouse. But I can control the gain. I can tr control the mode. I can control brick wall on or off. Okay, so brick wall on and off. This is actually a toggle. So let's customize that. I'll hit the F4 button that brings up this dialog. I can go to the brick wall mode, double click on it, and there's some additional settings here. Um, we can change this to just two steps and save that. And yeah, that feels better. I don't have to turn it as far to go on or off. So you can repeat that for any of the other settings in there. Let's go to the mode control. There's 10 modes. Let's press F4. We'll go to the mode control, double click, use rotary push and set this to 10 steps. And so maybe you wouldn't want to do this with 10 steps, but there's something you can do. You're just demonstrating the function. So tapping it and each time I tap, it increments the, uh, the setting back around to um, the different things. Let's go to another plugin, let's say Valhalla something, Valhalla plate. The first eight parameters may not be the ones that you want to actually have adjusting uh, in here at all times. And so let's say wanna just have decay as the first parameter, I can move that around. Might want mix as my eighth parameter. All the EQs I can move down to, uh, to shift plus. We'll take type and bring that into the number seven slot. Okay, decay, pre-delay, size, width, mod rate, depth, the type, mix. And if I hold down shift, I've got the EQs. That's basically how I would use that tool that's much quicker than opening up the text editor and manually changing things. I have heard that they are going to give the option of using the faders uh, instead of just the encoders uh, in the future. It's something that I missed from the Reapinger uh, BCF2000 layout that I was using before uh, with CSI1. But yeah, this is all really cool stuff. So that's the effects auto remapping function I think it's really cool. It's great implementation. Uh, I think this is just a start. It will be developed even further. Something that could actually visually show you how things are connected might be really cool. But for now, just being able to drag and drop to reorder and to turn encoders into push buttons is really cool. We'll see where this goes. CSI develops very fast. Um, so I'm sure this is not the last time I'll be talking about this.